good anytime my fuzzies to a quick review of a game I just finished. All opinions in this video are mine and mine alone, so just please enjoy and don't take them too seriously. Thank you. Good anytime my fuzzyites and welcome to a quick review of Sean White's snowboarding uh, road trip. Sorry I'm very tired, that game really took a lot out of me. <laughs> As always with these quick reviews. I go 1 to 5, 0, 1 being whatever the game was trying to go for, just didn't land, it wasn't good, and whatnot. Uh, 3 being average, it just hit what it was going, trying to go for, I feel like it didn't surpass expectations, it didn't underestimate, it was just whatever it was going for, it went for and hit it, but meh. Um, and then there is five, where it really blew me out of the water with what they did with the concept of whatever it was the topic is on. And it was really handled well and well done. So, gosh, it's been a very long time since I did a quick review. <laughs> uh, first of all, we will start with story. So the story of the game is you, or two people and their friend, are in the hospital, one of them broke their leg snowboarding, he can't come with you guys anymore, but you get a call from Sean being like, yo, I'm in Canada, come to Canada. So you go to Canada, you do some events, then he's like, yo, man, now I'm in Chile, come here. Then you go to Chile, and then he moves on to uh, the Swiss Alps, and then Japan, and then back home, back to his home, the USA. Uh, that's basically it for the story. It's all just, hey, come to this area. There's events going on. And then you just do events. I guess, I, I don't know who's really, like, keeping track of these events or whatnot. If it's you or if it's some random guy. Uh, but overall, with the story... It's a three for me. Uh, it's literally just... Or there's You also get emails for doing stuff, but the emails are kind of just like random, ha ha, look at this. Oh, this one's about this MLM scam. Oh, here's a brand that's very disturbing about snowboarder diapers or whatnot. And it's just like weird, hu weird humor, which isn't bad. Of just mock emails that you could actually get. I think there was one about, oh yeah, if you don't send this to 10 people, then you're going to die. Or someone in your life's going to die. Oh, here's one where, as long as the first two letters of a... First and last letter of a word is in the right place. And if, even if everything else is, else is jumbled, you can still read it as you go on. Because your, our brains are amazing. Just not nothing pertaining to the story. Per se, it's just little things that are like fluff text to give you something more than just what's there. Um, yeah, so it's a three because literally all any of the emails come down to is like, oh yeah, something's happening. You don't get to see it, but you can believe it's happening. Or yeah, come to this area. Just come. We're here now. This is why you're going to this area. Um, next up we have the characters who don't really talk. I think e the emails do have some things like the one girl we got from Japan was part of a, an act where she was thrown. I don't hundred percent know what that means, but take it as you will. And just besides that, they cut every character has their own opening movie about them wanting to join you. So they're somewhat character, but it's it's just, hey, here's a character. This is what he's like. You won't see it any other way. Maybe if you get them as a snowboarder or cameraman, you can see a little more of their personality, but it's just, bah, that's how it is. Uh, so I'm going to go three for characters as well, because there's just nothing there. There's no one I saw and I was like, ooh, this character's quirky, I like them, or ooh, this one's a serious type. To me, they all kind of meld into, yeah, they really all like snowboarding. Yeah. 
So three for characters as well. Um, Cause I, I honestly can't tell you if you showed me a picture, I, I mostly know them by stats. And even then it's just, Oh, I know that one's good for stat for speed. And that one's good for tricks. And that one's good for jumping. That's about it. That's all I can help you with. <laughs> I wouldn't really be able to tell you what any character's characteristics actually are. So three. Um, settings. So there are five regions in the game. Like I said, being Canada, Chile, Sweden, Swish, Swiss, Sweden, Swiss, I don't know. Um, Japan, and America. And then each area on top of that has four hills. Yeah, I'm doing it right. I'm very tired. <laughs> that game took a lot more out of me than I thought it would. Quicker than it usually does. Uh, four hills to go down, each hill being different. Um... So it's nice because every area kind of has their own theming. Like if you see trees, every area has their own version of what trees look like. For going off ramps, they have their own little outlines or lack thereof. So you know like, okay, this ramp is from Chile. I know because it's just rocks with snow that go barren rocks at the top. Uh, and grind rails are all different as well with colors or lack thereof. Again, Chile just has rocks in the formation of like long things yeah good 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 talk good talk um so i saw a picture i'd probably be able to tell you like oh yeah that's canada oh yeah that's sweden that's japan and like i said even the four hills the four hills kind of take every region's decorative and then just make it different so one might be longer and have more ramps to it Whereas another might have more grind rails, or one could be basically barren with a few ramps because it's a speed course. Um, so overall, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a four, because while it's very much same samey for all the regions, there are certain things that are cool. Like Chile had ruins you can go for. One of Japan's hills was an indoor uh place one of one of was it sweden's you go along a uh shack uh, not a shack but a building type thing uh, but for because they did a good job differentiating dif differentiating the tracks but in at the end of the day it's it's going downhill it's a lot of the same it's just where you put stuff where you put twists turns and jumps and grinds so far because it was interesting enough to keep me going um then we have game mechanics so the main thing of the game mechanics is you there's two ways to play one with just the Wii remote and one that I was playing with the Wii balance board and Wii remote. So with the balance board, you stand on it. Uh, as I guess you normally do on the balance board, one on each, one foot on each side. And depending where you put pressure, either on both on the left side, both on the right side, more forward, more back, will determine if you speed up, slow down. If you go back, turn left. If you lean left, turn right. If you lean right. There's also, if you do a small pump jump to relieve pressure quickly, you can do a jump that when you're in the air, you can use the Wii Remote and press A, B, or A and B to do different tricks as you turn to gain points. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. And then the Wii Remote is kind of the same-ish, where you just turn, you have the Wii Remote, you t twist it one way or the other to get it going uh, that way to turn. You can press A to speed up, B to slow and kind of methodically move left and right slower, which you can do if you have the Wii balance board as well. And then you kind of pop up with the rear remote to jump with it. And then A and B again and twisting 
our moves. Uh, besides that, like I said, there are five regions, four hills. Each hill of a region has kind of an overarching theme, which can be just tricks, where you're trying to just do tricks in the amount of time. Uh, there's exploration, which you're kind of going around doing, usually collecting stuff like garbage, <laughs> keeping the environment clean. Uh, or races, where you're just trying to race down a hill as fast as you can. And half pipe, where you're going in between a half pipe over and over again to get points. Uh, every There are also collect the crowns, which is usually a side mission, where as you're going down, there are crowns. You want to collect the number stated, get points with tricks, speed down the hill, collect garbage, or whatever else it wants you to do. Sometimes with the, doing the tricks, there's a time limit. So you might have to get 800 points in three minutes, which uh, if you're, so you can't take it slow. You have to go, 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 which I don't feel it's not really that bad. If you're doing good, you're probably going to clear it. If you're doing bad, you're not going to clear it. So it's just one of those things. Um, overall, I'm, the mechanics themselves on paper were really nice, really good, really thought out, and fine. But when it came to using the balance board, it was just tough. Like, I would want to jump, and it just doesn't jump. I don't want to jump, and it jumps. I want to stop turning, and it keeps turning, which that's on me. That's mainly the... Oh, what's going on? Mainly the jumps and not stopping when I want to jump. Or stop turning. That, no, nah, that's on me. I was trying to get it at the end. But it's tough. Um, so yeah, we balance board. It worked. But I don't, again, the problem is I don't know if it's I, 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 it's my fault that I didn't do so well with it. Or if it's uh, the game because it wasn't programmed well enough. I don't know. I don't know. But either way. Uh... Mechanic-wise, I'm going to give it a 4. The Wii Balance Board really makes it more interesting and more tough to do. And you feel like you're actually in the game, but it's also very tough. You have to really be into it to enjoy it. Uh, and that's it. Overall, I'm going to give the game a 3.5. Just because, like they said, the story is very basic. Everything just is... Yeah, just go here. Hey, I'm in this area. You should join me. Hey, I'm in this area. You should join me. Hey, I'm in this area. You should join me. Oh, hey, we're together now. Oh, yeah, now, now the bonus maps open up. Or bonus challenges open up. Um, as well as the characters. I can't tell you what any of the characters really do besides their stats. Stats. I didn't talk about stats. Going back to the gameplay. Uh, every character has stats. Being from landing, speed, turning, grip, and trick. The more it's one to three, the more they have in an area, the faster or better they go. And then you can have people join you as their as your cameraman and get a uh, special boost from them. Like the one guy did tricks, so I think you did tricks better or got more points for tricks. Um, or you did tricks faster. There was a speed one, confusion, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, going back to the main conclusion, story was just basic, straightforward, just everything just moved it along of, hey, go here, <laughs> hey, go here. Oh, here's an email that you might get a chuckle out of. Um, yeah. The characters weren't really interesting. They kind of had point uh, skills set to them, which is kind of a detriment in the end because, like, why would I go for someone good at gripping when I can just be someone good at doing jumps when gripping, I'm not bad at grips, whatever it is, uh, or anything like that. If I'm going for points, why would I go for someone with speed, with speed, land, less landing and whatnot? Well, I could be someone who's great at jumping and have my buddy be good at tricks. 
So the characters were kind of just basic characters. I don't, again, don't really remember any of their personality. They're kind of, some of them were kooky probably. Some of them were just, eh, I'm the straight-laced character. But they all love sport, uh, snowboarding and wanted to go around the world. That's all I know. Um, going on to the settings, there was five regions with four hills each, which were fine. Fun time, at least. Uh, every region had their own way of showing the grip rail, the grind rails, and the hills that you couldn't go that you could go off of. So it was very nicely differentiated. Um, yeah, but basic, just above basic for how it is. And unfortunately, it's snowboarding. So how? Much can you do with that, unfortunately. Ah, uh, and then the gameplay with the was nice. You could do a lot of actions, but in the end as well, a lot of it just came down to just holding A and B because that gives you the best point, the most points. Leaning one side or the other, so you do the same thing over and over again. And it's trying to land it, but it's it's the fun of trying to land it and get the points up there by the time you're done the course or the time limit stuff. That I enjoyed greatly. So overall, I'm giving the game a 3.5 because if you want snowboarding, it's not offensive. It's a fine snowboarding game whether you use the nunchuck or the Wii U pad. The Wii U pad gives you more control though. And overall, it's just a fine game. Will I play it again? Ah, probably not. I know there is a good snowboarding game out there that I heard about. And it's a shame because I do love skateboarding games. Like the Tony Hawk Pro series I love. So like this is almost like that. But it it's like snow. It's basically the skateboarding. But you're going downhill in certain areas instead of just around a city. <laughs> so anyways. That's it. That's it for the review. 3.5 for the game. It's fine. Passable. If you... Would probably be fun getting a bunch of people over and see them try out the Wii U board, the Wii U balance board, and see how or the Wii balance board, and see how they do with it. That could be fun, and it has multiplayer, which I'll have to try out. But I think it's just trying to get uh, medals. But anyways, thank you, my fuzzies, for watching, and have a good day. Time, take care.